Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning in verse 9, and it goes like this. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Did you know that God's grace is sufficient? It is. It's enough for me. It's enough for you. It's enough for every person that has ever breathed a breath of air. God's grace. Through the years, God has shown his marvelous grace and power in my life and in my family's life and in my mom and dad's life. God's grace is sufficient. You know, regardless of what situation that you think is terrible, illnesses, financial relationships, trials, just to name a few. His grace is still sufficient. He's always waiting patiently for us to cry out to him in our times of desperation. Who else can we call on? The banker can't save you. The doctor can't save you. No, but his grace is sufficient. He's a graceful God, the one and only true God. There's many other gods that people serve. Idols, statues, even some prophets that failed. But Today's scripture reminds me of how wonderful of a God and how great and powerful the God that I serve is. You see, Psalms 84 uh, says, Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee and whose heart are all the ways of them. When I'm weak, he's my strength. When I'm worried, he's my comforter. When I'm tossed in life situation, he's my solid rock. Matthew 7 and 7 says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. That's the God that I serve. And I trust that you are also serving him. But instead of trying to do things on your own, let his grace work for you. And if you don't know him, call out to him today. He's waiting to hear from you. He's wanting to hear your heart's cry. He'll gladly, gladly accept you as his child. Well, I hope this has helped someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you because he died on the cross for you. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.